This is the first stand on the new farm, and uh, you know, it's something, to be quite frank, I've been dreaming about for a really long time. Don't own this piece, but that being said, it's a big change from hunting public land, so even just getting to use a saw and the trim a tree was uh, a privilege. So uh, This is camera deployment day, which is obviously, as everybody knows, when you get a new piece of property, a very exciting day. Hopefully, in the next few days and week, we're gonna get some bucks on camera. And we just finished up plot one on the brand new farm. Um, it's a pretty exciting day. Basically, we brought in a uh, brush hog mower um, that we rented from our local hardware store. And it did a great job. We were able to cut through small trees and then obviously all the grass. Exciting times, got it mowed. We're gonna get it sprayed now and uh, move on to the next one. Hey guys, it's August 17th and uh, it's the first day we're kicking off the new 2020 vlog series. Zach behind the camera, he's going to be interning with me this fall. And just to bring you out the speed, a lot of things have changed since the last time that I was out hunting. Primarily the last two years I've been focusing on public land and you know as much fun as that was and as many blessings came my way, whether it be encounters, getting to shoot that buck back in 2018. The goal has always been to get back onto a piece of property that I can potentially manage at some extent and overall just to continue to learn and make better. So that opportunity came to fruition, uh, I want to say it was late June. My roommate and myself were able to secure a piece of ground pretty close to our house. Uh, my, that guy being Brad Beaver, if you guys remember him, he was with us back in 2018 and has kind of gone his own way at different endeavors. but. Ever since then we've been really close friends and uh, luckily this opportunity came up for both of us. So standing out here right now and uh, this is actually the first spot we came to back in late June. Hung a stand behind me in this pin oak. Just wanted to bring you up to speed. We're going to jump to the next spot here in a second and then just give you an overview of this overall farm and why we were so excited to hunt it this coming fall. Dang, that's a pretty nice eight-pointer. All right, guys, so we're here to that second camera that I mentioned. One thing I just want to make really clear, normally with this cutting link system, we're going to have no reasons to come in here and actually pull these cards. You know, I just wanted to kind of take a step back and give you an overview of this farm. You know, when you look at this drone shot, it's just absolutely breathtaking. I mean, it's one of the coolest places I've ever got the chance to walk on, and let alone now I've got the opportunity to hunt on, which is very exciting. Um, and you know just to kind of run you through getting this property late in June We didn't have much time between chasing November for me producing that and tying that series up Wasn't able to get out here a lot So, you know, we wanted to maximize our time with getting it late in the summer And the number one thing we did is we came in here and we wanted to deploy the cutting link system I think we've got 14 cameras out right now Before we even got those cameras out we needed to select locations where we wanted them to go and rather than just walking out here and kind of winging it, admittedly, one thing I do want to hit on is this Huntera map. Uh, right here, I've got the field map, and this is the leaf off version. You know, this, as soon as I started looking at this, it made me think about how much information I wasn't able to take advantage of when hunting public land these past few years. You know, I was always just erring on the side of the digital maps I was getting online were okay, they were good enough, they were cheap. But we were able to learn more about this farm, the way the timber lays, the detail, just it's, it's second to none. I mean, if you get one, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But we were able to choose all of our camera locations from home. We got out here, we are able to knock it out, and uh, it's worked out very well for us. And we've been able to get a very solid inventory so far of this farm. And, you know, this spot in particular, um, we've actually got one here that we are calling Chief. That's Brad came up with that name. He was the first buck we got on the farm, and he's pretty much everywhere, but this tends to be where we get our first photos of him every night. Comes from here, works east, the east side of the farm's all beans. Um, and while I'm on the topic of bucks, 
You know, we got Chief, we got this other one we're calling Millie. He's a really nice nine pointer, big kicker off his right brow, base time, and uh, just a beautiful buck. And then the first night we were out here and I was flying the drone, day one, I actually was able to point out a buck to Brad and he was able to get a photo. It was blurry, but we hadn't gotten photos of him until I just want to say two days ago. So, you know, we've got a couple good bucks running around right now and uh, we're really excited. I'm just sitting here doing this interview right now and behind Zach, I can see leaves changing and it's all of a sudden it's really, you know, hitting me that season's not too far away. So we're going to keep chugging along here. I'm going to get this SD card back in this camera. Got a couple more to check and then we're going to make our way to the east side of the farm where we'll rejoin you guys. Well, we just got done setting up this final camera here and uh, pulled the card and to end of the day, what a beautiful sunset. Couldn't ask for anything better. And the more that I stare at this map, the more I get excited for this coming fall. It doesn't hurt that when we just checked that last card, there was a couple hundred photos that I hadn't got the chance to look at today. And um, lo and behold, we have an absolute stud on there. He is, I don't even know what he was, just looking through that really quickly. Looked like he had a split G2 on his left side, but just, an Iowa giant, and it makes it even cooler to think that that's a buck that Brad and I are gonna be targeting this fall. Multiple good bucks are showing up. This place is really coming to fruition of what we expected, and like I mentioned earlier, I can only expect it to get better. That being said, uh, there's quite a few things we haven't really covered. We've, we've gotten three new food pots put in here. Uh, we came in, did those in the beginning of August, and then right now, what we're waiting on is rain. Regardless, the deer showing up, I couldn't be more excited and thankful to have this place to hunt this fall. And um, just to kind of add another wrench to this, luckily we came out with one piece of ground at the beginning of August. And now I've been able to get another piece of permission about an hour and a half south of here. So we'll wait till the next time to introduce that piece to you guys, but we've been getting some really good bucks on there too and all of a sudden the season's shaping up to hopefully be one of my best ever. So, appreciate you guys joining. I'm more than excited to get this year kicked off. Zach's with me, he's gonna be tagging along all year. He'll have a tag, and I know this is a journey we can't wait to get on. So, gonna wrap up the day, get on out of here, and I'll see you guys next time.